Welcome to my mommy YouTube channel. Please make sure you like this video and subscribe to my mommy's channel. Bye bye. Beep. <laughs> this is part two of me painting a portrait of my beautiful daughters. If you haven't seen part one, you do not need to look far. It will be the video right before this one. So I'm just starting off by adding some shapes of color onto my daughter's skin, just to build up some highlights and some shadows to add some depth to her face and make her look a little bit more three dimensional. Painting my youngest was a much simpler process because I had already made all the beginner's mistakes with my eldest. Plus, with my eldest daughter, I had to use multiple reference pictures to build up an image of how I was going to paint her because the picture that I actually based her whole face and hair and dress on was one with a Snapchat filter. So you couldn't really see her features. So I had to go back and forth to different pictures. Whereas with the picture of my youngest, I did use multiple reference pictures, but I only used one for her actual face. And that picture had quite a lot of detail, so I didn't have to come up with those myself. <laughs> I would advise anybody that's painting a portrait to use a picture that has a lot of detail, that has highlights, shadows, so you have a good reference to work with. I didn't give myself a good reference to work with for my eldest because I just didn't know any better. Obviously I know now, but it's too late. I do kind of feel like my youngest one turned out just slightly more realistic looking. Even though I know it's completely unintentional and it's just because I started with my eldest first, I can't help but feel guilty because I want her one to look like just as great. But I can't like, I can't spend the rest of my life trying to correct this. So for the most part, I am happy with how the portrait turned out. I think it's incredible, especially considering that it's my first ever painting. One day I'll do another one of them and they're both gonna be absolutely perfect. So it's fine, don't worry, it's cool. And she loves it, so that's all that matters. So I'm just adding a layer of the lightest color that I used for my daughter's skin, just to blend out all those colors that I've put down for the highlights and contours of her face to get a really nice transition between all of them. One piece of advice that I would give is to not use black for shadows. So mix dark brown. I think the color that I use is raw umber. Either use that by itself, you can mix it with a little bit of black, or if you need it to be lighter, you can mix it with whatever color you're adding a shadow to, if that makes sense, because it will look a bit more natural. So I just mixed different shades of blue, green, white and grey to get the colour I wanted for my daughter's eyes because her eyes are like a combination of different colours. They're grey but they've got like a blue tint and some green in them as well.
I'm using the same color that I used on her hair to create her eyebrows now. I really love the way how her eyebrows turned out and I wish I'd done my eldest eyebrows in the same way. But I made the mistake of following the advice of the artist videos on YouTube. Not to say that they gave bad advice. You know, sometimes you try to follow the advice of professionals or people that know better, but ultimately, sometimes, just using your own initiative is the best way. Sometimes their advice might work for them, but it might not work for you. Now I'm just adding some highlights to my eldest face um, just to add some more dimension because I feel like with me adding loads of layers of colour to lighten her skin tone, I kind of lost the dimension that was in her face when I had originally put down all the contours and the highlights. So I'm just trying to build that back up again.
I'm actually using nail polish to add some glitter and sparkle and just little details. So here I've just added some videos and pictures to show you the final product. I did varnish my painting after I was finished. So the end video is actually after it's been varnished and it is finally done. <laughs>